Yeah, as I was saying, yeah, I really like this slipcover. Yeah, love the yellow and the black there. Yeah. Yeah, with a little bit of blood there dripping on the on the little pen there. Yeah. yeah, very nice slipcover. Yeah, I love this watchman uh, slipcover here. Yeah. I love how the yellow just pops out of the black there. Yeah. Really nice there. Yeah. Thanks, Arnie. Uh, and also another slipcover from uh, DC Universe that really pops to me is uh, Suicide Squad. Really like this slipcover. I love the color. Uh, these really sort of uh, bubblegum colors they have going on here with the green apple sort of... <laughs> Uh, and the cherry kind of, you know, is just a really nice, uh, you know, vivid slip cover. Um, and I really like it because it sort of stands out from some of my other movies as far as the color scheme on the slip cover. So yeah, really, this is one of my favorites. Definitely. All right. Yeah. On to the uh, regular 1080p Blu-ray movies. Yeah. One of my favorite slip covers from there. Yeah. Is of course this uh, friend slipcover from season one here, yeah. the lenticular slip slipcover here. Yeah. Very nice. You can see how when you change it changes from the the characters there to the to the fringe symbols there from the from the actual television show. Yeah, very nice slipcover here. Yeah. And let's see. Once again, Disney does not disappoint. We have. Uh, the Alice in Wonderland slipcover, and again, you can see we have the sort of raised, embossed sort of uh, character here, along with the lettering for the title of the movie, uh, and also really shiny. So yeah, they've been doing this for a while as far as, you know, how they like for their slipcovers to look. So yeah, really nice. Yeah, and here we have it again, yeah, uh, Alice in Wonderland Alice to the Looking Glass, yeah, yeah, really like this slip cover, similar to Alice in Wonderland, we have the, the shiny slip cover with the embossed characters, the braised characters there, and the lettering as well, yeah, it's very nice slip cover as well. And here we have uh, Dope, I really like this slip cover just because of the, um, the sort of simplicity of it. And I also like the white. Like, I, whenever I get, like, a white slip cover, it just looks, I don't know, it's just something, it looks really clean. Um, so, yeah, I just, I really like this slip cover. I like the characters on the front. Uh, they were so funny in the movie. Yeah, this is a great movie, by the way. But, uh, yeah, I really like this slip cover. Yeah, here we have kick -ass. Yeah, and you know how much I love to kick ass as and dominate uh, and total recall. I kick a lot of ass, so I really like this movie as well. Yeah, and I really like the slip cover here. Yeah, I love the colors here. Yeah. yeah, we have the purple there and the, the green here and the black there and the red down here. Yeah. Very nice slip cover there. Yep, and also, yeah, you know. I really like this slip cover as well. I think we both really like the kick ass slip covers, Arnie. Yes, we do. Yep, and um uh yeah, they're they're pretty similar actually, but um I got to say the one that you picked I probably like that one even better than Kick Ass too. Even though I really like both of them, it's just that there are more characters on the front of the first one. So, but yeah, they're both really nice. And actually um this one is a bit shinier, the Kick Ass 2. And the first kick ass is first kick ass is like a matte sort of finish on this one, but yeah, both very nice slip covers. Yeah, next up we have here Oblivion. Here again, we can see the white slip cover case here. It just looks really clean there. And we have Tom Cruise and Morgan Freeman on the front, looking like total badasses there. Very nice slip cover here, and wonderful movie as well. All right, and next up we have Batman Ninja. Of course, this is a really great slip cover too. I, again, I love slip covers that have this raised, uh, uh, embossed. What do you call it? This sort of ra the raised characters and, and lettering on the front of the slip cover, and also shiny. Um, yeah, this is just an awesome, awesome slip cover. Uh, the character design in this movie and the animation is just fantastic. And 
they really demonstrate on the front of the slip cover. Yeah, of course, we have here yeah, Dominator Genesis with yours truly on the front there. Yeah, and this is the lenticular slipcover here. Yeah, I love the slipcover where it shows me changing from the Dominator and then back to back to Arnie, back to the Dominator, then back to Arnie. Yeah, yeah it's a great, fantastic slipcover. This is my all time favorite slipcover here. Yeah, I should have saved this for last. But this is my favorite slip cover, Dominator. Yeah. I think Arnie was a bit biased on that slip cover, but we'll let it slide. Um, yeah. And let's see, we have here the Hateful Eight. I really like this slip cover only because it's like, I like the fact that it sort of opens like a book. Really cool. And, it, and then when it closes, you can see there's like a little like a magnet or something or is it I'm sorry no it's not a magnet it's like like a glue sort of finish there that sort of locks it in but um, yeah I just really like the fact that you can open it right here and you know of course it's just like any other slipcover where the movie slides out but yeah just I like the slipcover because of how they sort of made it a bit unique in that fashion Yeah, next up here yeah, is Spider-Man, the amazing Spider-Man here. Yeah, really like this slip cover here yeah, just because Spider-Man is on the front. Uh, so, so prominent there. Yeah, and, and he just looks like a total badass there yeah, on the front of the slip cover here. Yeah, really nice there. Yeah. Look at his eyes on the front there. Yeah, very nice. Amazing Spider-Man there. Yeah, yeah. Also, Dylan. If you could show, if you could pull out the homecoming, Spider-Man homecoming for our comparison now. Sure, let's see. So yeah, see what, let's see. So yeah, the reason we're showing the comparison here is just because even though, uh, even though we like this slip cover better, we like this movie better because it's a part of the Marvel universe and you know, Marvel of course, knows how to do their character the best out of anybody and this was a really great movie um, and not a bad slip cover at all it's just that uh, this slip cover is just really really nice it's got the raised sort of embossed uh, stitching on the on spider-man's suit um, and it's just really shiny and you know just it's really nice so uh, you know kudos to the slip cover but uh, the win goes for the movie goes to, to this one. <laughs> but yeah, we just wanted to point that out. Last but not least here, we have Inception. Another uh, lenticular slipcover there. Um, yep, so we really we really love our, lin our uh, lenticular slipcovers. So yeah, this is another favorite here. It's really cool. You can see how... Um, you know, from from the dream sequence when uh, he was have he was training, um, um, he was training Ellen Page to, uh, you know, be a sort of an, an architect or whatnot for for the for their uh, you know for their inceptions. <laughs> um, but yeah, so and you can see how like the how. The environment is like it raises up and then it goes back down in the lenticular look there. So yeah, really cool. And then you can see when it goes down, it says the dream is real. But yeah. Um, and then we also want to show a couple of our sets here, just because we really like sets. Um, so yeah, this we really like this uh, slip case for the complete saga for Star Wars. Um, if I can get it out. Like a booklet there, that's really cool. And then we also like our case for the Matrix. Just wanted to point these out. I know they're not slip covers, but we really like the cases for each and that's it. 
Um, I hope you guys enjoyed, enjoyed the video. Comment, subscribe. Let me know how you feel about the slipcovers and your favorite